I want coffee. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Alan Wake. Here we go. That was a really messed up episode. Ooh, a page. The darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. Well, that's not good. It's not good at all. I'm gonna be totally screwed. Kind of how I feel right now. Oh God! A, a bulldozer? Really? No, no, don't run me over. And I gotta deal with you guys. Come on. Okay, what do I do? What do I do? Shoot you! You die! Oh God! No, 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 no! No, bulldozer! Stop it! Bad bulldozer! Not that... I thought it would be like a good bulldozer or anything, but... Oh! Hey! <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hit that guy. Just ran his own dude right over. Jeez, you were just relentless. It's ridiculous. Come on! Oh, one down. One more. I think that's it. Is that it? Just you and me, bulldozer. Mano y mano. Oh, yes, the gate's open. I'm getting out of here. Screw you, bulldozer. You just stay over there and play with yourself. The naughty bulldozer you are. <laughs> what? Not so tough now, are you? Foiled by a gate. <laughs> what a lame bulldozer. Actually, that bulldozer was pretty awesome. It did almost kick the crap out of me. I had never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. Oh, that's spectacular. I'm so glad to see the sunrise, too. The coal mine wasn't far now. No crazy darkness to jump out at me during the day? This is wonderful news. Unless they throw, throw something crazy in there. But. Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. I really doubt it's just going to work out that way. Kidnapper's just gonna give Alice over? I don't think so. Alright, back to work. Little by little, without realizing it, I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the Dark Presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real, but it matched a textbook case of insanity. Well, you're not really insane if the book is coming true. You're just stuck in some weird Twilight Zone thing. Did I go the right way? I did. The bridge is out. I was just going exploring. I think I ended up going the right way. Whoa, whoa, truck. Oh, Nelly, settle down. Easy. Gonna blow the engine up pretty soon here. 
Yeah, get up the hill. There we go. What do we have here? A radio. This is Pat Bain, and you're listening to KBF FM. Folks, I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. You see, I encountered a big shot G-Man with an itchy trigger finger who could use a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass. Not necessarily in that order either. <laughs> now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but I'm just so peeved right now because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. And I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now, on a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, a little music. It's not your fault, man. That FBI agent's just crazy. I won't hold it against you. You seem like a good guy. This seems conveniently left there for me. I'm gonna take it. Oh right, the bridge is out. What am I doing? I'm <laughs> just totally driving the wrong way. I was not paying attention. I wonder if you could jump the bridge. I should have tried it. Just for fun. It's too late now. I'm going and I am not stopping. For anything. Well, unless there's some cool, like, house thing or something. I'll check it out. Does this thing have a radio? I can go for some tunes right now. Maybe that car has a radio. Probably not. We got up here. Nothing scary, thankfully. Any coffee? It's early. Need my morning pick me up. It's the radio. Welcome back to KBF FM. No coffee. Now, Doc, Dang. you were talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Well, see, to me, that's strange, because I always pegged you as a hopeless romantic. <laughs> you got me there, Pat. But I think love's where you look for it, and you need to do a lot of looking, sure. But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you, and if you miss that chance, it's gone forever, and you're forever incomplete. I mean, isn't that depressing? Or, heck, childish, even? Hey, there's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> and apparently a fisherman has a fishing analogy for everything, but what you're saying, isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that your potential for finding that connection isn't limited to what's essentially a chance encounter. How is that harsh? Yeah, well, I guess that's a nice thought, but let me say something personal here. Okay. Now, well, I, I don't disagree with you exactly, but I can't really fit that together with what I feel, what I, what I felt for someone, because she was the one. She was. And she... I let her drift away from me. Maybe I didn't put in the work. I don't know, but... Well, since then, and it, it was a long time ago, but, but since then, there hasn't been anyone, not like her. And I'm not saying I dwell on her or haven't moved on. I like my life. I, I'm not living in the past, but I do miss the way she completed me. You can't argue with the heart, Pat. Uh, I'm sorry, folks. I had kind of a scary experience last night, and let's just say it's shaken a few things loose. That's it? Okay. Thank you for that episode of Oprah. You guys, hug it out. And uh, I'm going to get back to work here. I'm going to start by taking this car. Where's the radio? 
God, there's no radio in this one either? Who's with these people just driving around in silence? I couldn't do it. I can't do that. I need some rockin' tunes to keep me company. Now, this looks promising. Well, that's it for this episode of Alan Wake. Thanks for joining me, everybody. We'll see you next time.